one in particular that I really liked was he had his three models of business, uh, uh, the way business is driven in a local economy. And number one is family owned businesses. Um, so the many, many uh, countries around the world have a lot of family controlled businesses that get involved in the local politics and the local economy and start to control things. Um, uh, state-owned enterprises, where, where you know, a lot of it is driven by the state, and then thirdly, sort of institutionally owned businesses. And he says the problem for China is that it's too much one and two, and not enough three. And Huawei is possibly the only example of a company in China at the moment that is in that sort of number three group. Uh, and he, he wants to see many more of these state-owned and family-controlled businesses become open up a bit and become more privately owned before China's economy can become a truly modern economy. And I thought that was a very interesting perspective which I hadn't heard before. And I've travelled to all the BRIC countries, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, equally have equal problems around family controlled businesses and state owned businesses and not enough privately and institutionally owned businesses. And that's that's a, a very a very interesting point actually about China. He also talked a lot about the US-China trade tensions, some of the uh, his history around that, around when China entered WTO in 2001, um, and you know, some of the re requirements that America put on China when they came into the WTO, and how China has overreached in, in many areas. Um, and of course China's economy is 12 times the size as it, as it was when they entered WTO. And so I thought that was an interesting perspective too.